This is uh, class session five, Cardiac Emergency. So the objective for this session, we will define the heart attack, determine what to look for, and when to call uh, the emergency system, to the emergency system, and what to do until help arrived when caring for patients with heart attack. Definition, <coughs> defining cardiac arrest, and enumerate the signs of uh, and causes of cardiac arrest, name the link in adult chain of survival and the state of importance of each year. About the heart attack, heart attack when blood flow to the heart muscle is reduced, so the people will experience chest pain. This reduced blood flow usually caused by coronary heart disease or narrowing of the coronary artery when the blood and oxygen supply to the heart is reduced and heart may, uh, and might result in a uh, heart attack also there are many other causes of cardiac uh, arrest uh, might happen due to uh, many other causes like shock, like uh, also uh, electric shock, and many other causes. But in cardiac attack, what we have to look for, look for the chest pain. Usually, the chest pain, the pain, the client will experience a chest pain. He will describe it that a heaviness over his chest. Some of them they are saying that. It is like arrow on my chest, the pain is there in the middle of the chest and it is radiated to the shoulder and the neck, some, mostly to the left shoulder, but some of them they are saying that also even it is radiated to both sides, to right and left shoulder. <laughs> the pain, it might last longer than five minutes. It can range from discomfort or an uh, bearable crushing situation of pain, pressure and squeezing and tightening of the chest might be there, constant pain, usually not relieved by rest, and may also be felt on spread on the shoulder, as we said, and arm and the neck, and also the jaw pain, also to the jaw. They will have trouble with the breathing. Other signs and symptoms, the person's skin may be pain and ashy. And it might be also uh, nose discoloration. Then the patient would have sweating all over his body. He might have nausea and vomiting also, fatigue, headache, loss of might lead to loss of consciousness. When to call the emergency, when to activate the emergency system, remember that the case signal for heart attack is the uh, presented chest pain or discomfort that lasts more than three to five minutes or uh, goes away and come back. If you suspect that the person is having a heart attack based on his heart signals, on those signals. It is important to recognize the signal of heart attack and act on those signals. Any heart attack might lead to cardiac arrest, but prompt action may prevent further damage of the heart. So, have the vessel to stop whatever he is doing, so he has to take risk and to prevent him from doing any, uh, any activities, even minor activity. Losing tightness and uh, uncomfortable clothes, especially at the neck of the person. Closely monitor and watch the person for any changes in the appearance and behavior. Be prepared for performing the CVR, because the patient might go in cardiac arrest. Ask the person 
if or he or she has a history of heart disease before. Be calm and reassure the, uh, reassuring the client, comforting the person, uh, or comforting the person how to reduce anxiety and ease for the stuff. Offer aspirin if it is available. Uh, if medically uh, appropriate for the patient, he can swallow it. Uh, also, if he has uh, nitroglyceride and if he is a known case of uh, heart disease, in this case, help him to uh, take the nitroglyceride. And be, be sure that the uh, they did not advise him to take aspirin. Cardiac arrest, it is a condition when the heart is stopped, stop breathing, uh, beating, sorry, so the heart will stop beating, and also uh, the beats or the uh, contraction of the heart become ineffective if they are very weak, irregular, and uncoordinated. When the heart stops beating, probably the body cannot survive. Breathing will soon stop, and the body organs will no longer receive oxygen that they need to do their function. The signs of cardiac arrest, a person with cardiac arrest will be unconscious, and no breathing, no buzz. So unconsciousness, no breathing, no buzz are the signs of cardiac arrest. The causes of cardiac arrest, cardiovascular diseases, and prior is the primary cause of cardiac arrest in adults. Drowning, choking, due, uh, drug abuse, severe injury of the brain damage, uh, it is the cause of uh, other causes of uh, cardiac arrest. Causes of cardiac arrest in children and infants. Also, it is mostly airway and the breathing problem. So it is not primarily from the heart, it is primarily from the breathing problem. Traumatic injury, like heart blow on the chest, uh, heart, uh, congenital heart disease, and sudden infant death syndrome. So those are the causes of cardiac arrest in infant. Adult chain of survival. So in adult chain of survival, the first uh, chain, it is early recognition. So we have to recognize the case as early as possible. That it is a cardiac condition. Then, early CBR. So, when the patient is getting, when we recognize that he is having cardiac arrest, we have to do as early as possible the CBR. It, is, it has to be within second. So, because if time passed, and if it is more than uh, five minutes, the brain will start to deteriorate and it will not be functioning well even after the restation. Early defibrillation, if EED is available, effective, advanced support. So, and integrated post-cardiac arrest care in the hospital, availability of the uh, ICU, availability of the lab, availability of the specialist. For children, the pediatric chain of survival is slightly different. So it starts with the prevention. So the most important thing is to prevent the case from occurring, early CBR, then prompt access to the emergency response system, rapid BALS and integrated post cardiac arrest care. Uh, the first three uh, link is uh, doing by basic life, life support. <laughs>